been turned upside down. It's important to realize how much our picture of the universe has changed in the last century. At the beginning of the 20th century, the conventional wisdom in science was that the universe was static and eternal. In 1929, that all changed. <laughs> At the Mount Wilson Observatory above Los Angeles, astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered galaxies aren't stuck in one place. Not only are they moving, but they're flying away from Earth at incredible speeds. This was the first real evidence of the Big Bang. galaxies on average are moving away from us and stranger still those that were twice as far away were moving twice as fast and those that were three times as far away were moving three times as fast and so on everything was moving away from us it became known as hubble's law his discovery is still the starting point for exploration of the big bang what hubble convincingly demonstrated by seeing the motion of those galaxies is that the universe is expanding. Theoretically, an expanding universe must have started from a single point. By measuring how fast the universe is expanding, astronomers calculated backwards and figured out when it burst into light. People ask that question, how do you know? The universe is 13.7 billion years old. I mean, Smarty Pants, you weren't there 13.7 billion years ago. Well, when you watch television on videotape, you hit the stop button when you see an explosion, and you can run it backwards and see when the day actually takes place. The same thing takes place with cosmology. We can run the videotape backwards and then calculate when it all came from a cosmic explosion. to look back in time. If you gaze up at the night sky, we're seeing stars that are millions of light years away, meaning it took the light from those stars millions of years to get here. So, if you look far enough, you should be able to see the burning universe. Named for the groundbreaking astronomer, the Hubble Space Telescope allows us to look deep into the universe.